In today's video, we're going to be talking about the 10 rarest sparrows currently in Destiny 2 Lightfall. You guys seem to enjoy my video where I talked about the 10 rarest ships, so I decided to make one for the sparrows too. If you didn't see that video, go check it out after this one. And if you guys enjoy the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel, it would really be appreciated. With that being said, let's get right into the rankings. So coming in at number 10, we have the Skiff Scooter. This sparrow is only owned by 0.34% of players, and I really love the Fallen theme on the sparrow, but it seems that Aesthetic didn't attract many players. The sparrow was available to get in the Eververse store during the season of the Haunted, and I guess it was just simply overlooked. At number 9, we have the Running Tiger, owned by 0.29% of players. The Running Tiger was released during the Bungie 30th Anniversary event, and I wish I got my hands on the sparrow when it was released. The overall look of the sparrow is super cool, and it has a giant golden tiger on it, which is awesome. I'm actually really surprised that the sparrow is so rare, and I wonder why barely anybody actually picked it up. In number 8, we have the Unknown Lands Explorer. This sparrow is owned by 0.29% of players, so it's actually tied in rarity with the Running Tiger. I'm way less surprised the sparrow is rare, because it's so basic, and it seems like there are too many sparrows in Destiny that have a very similar look to this. This was released back in the season of The Risen, and I'm assuming many players overlooked it because of its boring design. Coming in at number 7 is the Sea Foam Glide. This sparrow, or should I say jet ski, is owned by 0.25% of players. This one was released in the season of The Haunted, and personally, I kind of like the look of it. I can see why many people never got it though, because out of all the boat themed cosmetics in the game, this one is just kind of boring. Coming in at number 6, we have the Assembly Rider, which was actually released this season. This sparrow is owned by 0.25% of players, so again, it's tied in rarity with the Seafoam Glide. I actually hate the look of the sparrow, and I wouldn't consider ever getting it, so that could partly be why it's rare, but it's actually a new sparrow, so we have to assume that over time this will become less and less rare, and more people might actually pick it up. Now, in number 5, we have the Gold Topper 1. So I actually found out that the name refers to the North Steed of Gods, whatever that means. I have no idea. Anyways, this pair was released in the Season of the Seraph and is only owned by 0.24% of players. It's kind of bulky and weird looking, so I can see why nobody actually wanted to get it. In the number 4 spot, we have the Open Sky Torer, owned by 0.23% of players. This pair was released back in the Season of the Haunted, and it kind of resembles a sports car. It definitely has a very sleek look, and I'm surprised so few players got it back when it was available. Coming in third, we have the Containment Hazard. This bad boy was released back in the season of The Haunted, and is owned by 0.15% of players. I'm just going to guess that the Sparrow is so rare because of how goofy it looks, but I wish I had it because I actually really like it. While it's super bulky, it's also very unique looking, and it kind of just makes me laugh looking at it. Now, in second place, we have the newest sparrow released, the Triple Bogey. This sparrow is currently owned by 0.12% of players, and you can currently get this sparrow by upgrading your Guardian Games event card, and it's probably only rare because it was just released a little over a week ago. Once the season is coming to an end, I'm just going to guess that more players get their hands on this, and I personally don't care for it at all. It's not that great looking, and it definitely doesn't compare to some of the other Guardian Games cosmetics. Finally, in the number one spot, we have the Intrinsic Force, owned by 0.11% of players. This barrel was only available through the Season of the Seraph starter pack, and while it's super cool and unique looking, it's definitely rare since it was only included in a starter pack that costs real money. If anyone watching this has this barrel, definitely leave a comment down below and I'll be really surprised. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and like I said, Make sure to check out my video where I talk about the 10 rare ships in the game. I really appreciate you guys who subscribe and leave comments on my videos. If there's actually anything you guys want me to rank, definitely feel free to let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video.